we saw the electronic configuration in the last video now i'd like you to understand why the periodic table is made in the way it is made right <clears throat> there are certain gaps then 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 we have certain certain things that are there in the bottom and, and it seems actually weird but now that you understand the electronic configuration you will not think it is weird okay it's not at all weird so so let us try to think what did we what did we fill up in the first go so for for hydrogen hydrogen we had 1s1 right so so you see hydrogen here right you see hydrogen here <clears throat> now we we have helium helium which has 1s2 okay so so in a sense helium is a is 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 an s block element right and it should have been somewhere here somewhere here but helium is here so that because because apart from being an s block element it is also a noble gas so it has been placed above the noble gas right now whenever a particular orbital is being filled okay we name the element as belonging to that block okay so so hydrogen and helium they are in a sense s block element it has been placed above the p block don't get confused with it it is just so that it matches with all the noble gases which are below this okay so so that way you can say say that it it has been anomalously placed but but then uh, then as per the chemical property it matches more with with those elements below that and hence the thing there there'll no not be any confusion later so now we come to lithium lithium we had seen to be 1s2 followed by 2s1 followed by beryllium which was 1s2 and 2s2 so here too in in both of them the s block elements s s orbital was being filled so so it has been placed here so lithium is there followed by beryllium this whole thing right this whole whole thing is is named as s block element right this is called an s block element fine let me let me make it a bit thicker okay this whole is the s block element why because in them the s orbital is being filled right so i have i have reached beryllium now comes now comes and oh, don't forget we are always taking the help of we are taking the help of the of bow principle okay so after 1s okay what what does it say say 1s then 2s 2p okay and we go like that this is a bit thicker so kind of okay so what does it say it says that you have a 1s then 2s then 2p so so after after 2s the 2p starts getting filled up right and after that after that we have a 3s here right so so after 2p it will be the it will be the uh, it will be the turn of 3s right so so what happens here let's try to see so after after beryllium we have boron boron which is 1s2 2s2 2p1 right 2s2 2p1 is that okay it's boron okay so you see boron here you see boron here right and why have we left this why have we left this space this space this space has been left because later we know that suddenly there will be a 3d that will drop in after s there will be a 3d after 4s2 there will be a 3d 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 3 right right, right 3d okay 3d so 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 what happens is boron is that and the, and then it goes on then, then it's carbon okay so, so it goes on increasing by one so carbon it is let me let me make some space here 
carbon is 1 s2 2 s2 2p 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 2 so that is carbon field then then comes nitrogen so it is 1 s2 2 s2 2p 3 2p 3 7 total right then comes oxygen it is 1 s2 2 s2 2p 4 which is this fluorine 1 s2 2 s2 2p 2p 5 2p 5 which is nothing but fluorine and then it is 1 s2 2 s2 2p 6 and you have neon right you will find exactly six of them here six of them here right i'm sorry not that six of them here six okay they are six of them and they are p block elements they are p block elements so so let me again kind of put them under under a under a thick line so so this is is full comes under the P block element. This is P block element. Okay, so 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 this was this was S block. This was S block. This was S block. This was P block. Right? So so we went up to 2P6. After 2P6, we know the we know we have 3S. Okay? So so after 2P6 we have we have 3s so so this is 3s right this this this, this sodium here is 3s so it is 3s so sodium is sodium is I, i'll write it as as till neon the core is the same neon and then i'll write 3s1 so that is sodium field get that then we have then we have magnesium which is Till neon, it is the same, then it is 3s2. What do we have after 3s2? After 3s2, after 3s2, let, let me let me write that. So it was 1s, then 2s, 2p, then 3s, 3p, 3d, right? And and we have okay, it goes like that. It goes like that. It goes like this okay so so after 3p we have 4s correct this is our off bound that is nothing but increasing energy scenario nothing else okay 4s 4p 4d 4f f kicks in here right so so what happens after magnesium after magnesium we again come to after after 3s we again come to 3p get that we come to 3p so we have we have our aluminum here our aluminum here and and what is the configuration aluminum is whole of any and 3s2 and 3p1 okay and one by one it keeps on increasing so it is 3p1 3p2 3p3 3p4 3p5 3p6 3p is filled up understand understand now now the turn comes for 4s so when, when i when i come here when i come to potassium just look at it potassium potassium it is it is the whole of argon so so i come at potassium it is argon and and then 4s1 and then i have calcium which is argon and 4s2 and now 
for the first time the d kicks in okay after 4s we fill 3d now you'll realize now you'll realize that this space that was left here the, the space that was left from here till here that was to that was in waiting for the d orbital to come in understand understand so that's why so d orbital kicked in here so so now this whole thing right now 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 this whole thing is called a, a d orbital the d block element why because, because in during this it is the d orbital that is getting filled understand so so that is s block this is p block and this becomes d block this is d block this is d block this is d block element right so it goes on like that so 3d is getting filled here all, all the while 3d is getting filled from here till here and then you go to after 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 3d you go to uh, after 3d you go to 4p so this is all 4p okay from 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 gallium to to krypton it is 4p that's why it is under p block right and after 4p you have after 4p you have 5 after 4p you have you have this is actually 5s this is 5p this is 5 B, this is 5f right so so and then then it is 6s it is 6p it is 6d it's 6f right so after uh, we, we have filled up 3d we have filled up 4p we have come to 5s 5s starts from rubidium right so so 5s starts from rubidium here okay rubidium is uh, rubidium is 5s and then comes strontium that is 5 is 2 and then we again go to 4d you see from 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 5s we come to 4d get that so so this is 4d so so this this hole is 4d from yttrium this hole is 4d getting filled up correct after 4d we have 5p so this is the 5p block that is getting filled okay that here it's 5p that is getting filled all this understand it's 5p that is getting filled after 5p we come to 6s from cesium cesium and barium they are 6s and then see 6s and for the first time you have your 4f kicking in now now the common logic says that we should have made some space space here here onwards we should have made us we should have left a space of 14 because now when the f starts getting filled it have, if there are 14 electrons which will get filled there right but we don't do that you know it, it will become too unwieldy and, and it will not serve any purpose. So what we say that, okay, fine, it is there, but all these elements I am writing here. Get that? I'm writing here. And they will be 14 of them, right? So, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15. There are 15 of them because this goes to this goes to the D block. Okay, this last one, this goes to the D block, but its properties are similar to the F block, so we study it as a as an F block, right? R rather, this is an F block element. L lutetium is an F block element. This lanthanum. Okay, this this lanthanum, this is studied as, as a D block. 
so we say that after lanthanum it comes here right normally lanthanum is studied as a d block element okay and after that you have 14 of them here right e either you take the lutetium lutetium to be here okay but in between these 14 have dropped in dropped down and since they have started from lanthanum this series is known as lanthanoid this is known as lanthanoid and here it starts from actinium so it is known as actinoids okay transition from actinium metalloids those which are transitioning between metals and non metals so this is all six this is all for the first time 4f getting filled and then you suddenly kick back to 5d after 4f getting filled you come to 5d so you start from here all this right so from here till here it's all 5d okay and then it is 6p if you see after 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 5d we have 6p fine so so here it is all 6p from here to here it is 6p get that and then you'll kick into 7s which is francium and radium okay here they start becoming becoming radioactive so it is francium right francium so so 6p we have 7s you see that this 7s and from there it again goes to 5p you see that so so 5f i'm sorry 5f and that is where the actinoid kicks in okay many a times you'll find this written here you, you you'll find this actinoid actually written left here because it is studied as a, a d block element and then the 14 of them are f block elements right so 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 then they are called actinoids right so after 14 and and all these nine so after i have done my my 5f i go to 6g so from here till this it is all all 6g and then this is 7 7p understand this is 7p and then you'll go to 8s below this we'll go to 8s understand and then from 8s from 8s from from 8s 8p 8d 8f okay where 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 will we be going you'll have to go to 5g for the first time so then you'll have to make space for how many 18 more orbitals and it will start becoming more complicated understand that in a nutshell is what the periodic table represents and why this is named as s block okay okay why this is named as s block this is named as d block this is named as p block and and this which lies there at the bottom which is actually an extension of this okay there is an asterisk here and and instead of instead of instead of arranging it in between we have kind of put it down right otherwise what should have happened what should have technically happened technically i should have created some space there let me let me do that for you then you understand it better technically i should have have created a space for this here right and the whole periodic table should have shifted okay and and let me make that space now so i would like to shift this portion here right I, I shift this, this here, making space for this. Get that? Ideally, this should have been the case. And then what should I have done? I should have shifted this in between. You understand? So I should have actually shifted this in between in a sense. Let me do that as well. So, so in a sense, the periodic table 
should have looked like this. Understand? Do we get the point? Let me let me zoom out and and uh, I I want you to have a look. So that way. You see that? And many places you see at times there is a long form of periodic table which is which is okay on the net you'll find there are periodic tables which are at times written like that but you but you understand this this space this space is an auto waste and and that will kind of kind of you know to to we to here, here we did the same thing right, right, look here we were waiting for d no here all the way i i had not put anything here in in this why because i was waiting for d understand in in this space there was nothing why because i was waiting for d similarly i have not put anything here in this space why why this space is waiting for this space is waiting for this is waiting for f understand it's only that i have kind of kind of taken it down and and, and put this there right as you do when you have to maybe extend something you put an asterisk and then you start writing something below that right understand fine so that do you get the point you can bring the bring the table in its original form as, as it looked maybe i'll undo these changes so so no it's not happening i've written something else somewhere yes this moved this moved yeah this moved Fine, and, and it came back in its original position. You understand? Yes, so, so that is what it is. It looks so complicated, but it is not. You should understand why it has come, and it's absolutely perfectly methodical. The way it has been arranged, right? And why we name the name the blocks as S, P, D, and F blocks, and that is what we'll study later when we when we try to kind of study the properties of the element. So we we won't study about all the elements we just keep on studying about the blocks of the elements the the s block the the s block and p block okay so there there are four blocks four blocks here and we know why s p g and f block elements why they just denote the subshells to which those elements belong correct fine 